Hello, in this session we'll see host problem on finding the angle between radius vector and tangent. So let us see that we have to find angle between the radius vector and tangent where r is given as e times of 1 plus cos theta and we also have to find the slope of the tangent for theta equal to pi by 3. Now we know that for polar graph tan of phi will actually be given as r times of d theta by dr. So with r equal to e times of 1 plus cos theta you will have dr by d theta equal to e times of 0 minus sin theta. So that is minus a sin theta. So let us put this value. We will have tan of phi equal to r that is a times of 1 plus cos theta and dr by d theta will be minus of a sin theta. So this gives a relation in the denominator. Now this a and a will be get cancelled will have minus of 1. So we can say that tan phi will be minus of. Now we know that 1 plus cos 2 theta is actually 2 cos square theta. Also sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta. So as per that 1 plus cos theta can be written as 2 times of cos square theta by 2 and sin theta can be written as 2 sin theta by 2 times of cos theta by 2 of which we can take some of the factors common like 2 and cos theta. So this is actually minus of cot theta by 2. Now since we know that minus of cot theta by 2 or simply theta is actually tan of pi by 2 plus theta. Therefore we can say this tan phi will actually become tan of pi by 2 plus theta by 2. So we can compare this and we can say that we are going to get phi equal to pi by 2 plus theta by 2. So this is the angle between the tangent and the radius vector. This is what we were looking for. And we can see it is given that in our equation theta is pi by 3. So for theta equal to pi by 3 we can say phi will actually be pi by 2 plus pi by 3. So we can take the LCM so that will be 3 phi plus 2 phi and that is overall 5 pi by 3. So with theta equal to pi by 3 we can say phi will be so with theta equal to pi by 3 phi will be pi by 2 plus phi by 6 taking LCM will have 6 and 3 pi plus pi that is 4 pi so that can be written as 2 by 3 pi so this is the angle between the tangent and the radius vector also we are asked to find the slope of tangent so slope of tangent which is actually given as tan of psi which can also be given as tan of theta plus phi will actually be tan of theta which is pi by 3 and this is 2 pi by 3. So overall this becomes tan of simply pi and tan of pi should be equal to 0. So we can say that first of all angle between tangent and 
radius vector is actually 2 pi by 3 that is phi which we have already found and slope of tangent that is tan psi is act, will be actually 0. So these are the two values which we had to find. So this is 2 pi by 3 and the slope is 0. I hope you understood this question. Thank you.